Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about troubleshooting a Windows device that will not go to sleep or hibernate right after this. Okay everybody, welcome back. So I had an issue recently where I had a device that was not going to sleep. I had it set to go to sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity and it was not going to sleep. It was running 24 seven. Now I like to think of myself as, you know, pretty environmentally conscious guy. So I wanted to go to sleep. And so it's not going to use any power and it's also going to save wear and tear on the components of my machine. I had all my settings set correctly and I needed to do some more troubleshooting to figure out why it was that even though I had the computer set to go to sleep, it wasn't going to sleep. So this video, I'm going to start out with the easier things to check, and then I'm going to talk about something that's a little more involved, not really too difficult, but a little more involved, and how to figure out and get to the bottom of why your device will not go into sleep or hibernate mode, even though you're not using it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check in our settings. So we're going to go into the settings area, system, power and sleep. Now this is a virtual machine, so it's not going to have the sleep, but it's going to have the screen setting, but you'll see a similar setting for sleeping. And in the sleep setting, you're going to want to make sure it has the correct numbers. For example, if you wanted to go to sleep after 30 minutes or after 15 minutes, you're going to want to make sure that that's what's selected. From there, you're going to want to go into the additional power settings area. And we're going to change the plan settings. And we're going to change advanced power settings. And then we're going to go down to multimedia over here. And then we're going to go to when sharing media. And we're going to change this. The default is to prevent the computer from going to sleep. We're going to click in here and we're going to say allow the computer to sleep. We're going to say OK and then we're done there. OK, next we're going to look into devices. Now two devices that can commonly cause the computer to wake up are the network adapter and the mouse. Now if you turn this off, you will still be able to wake the computer up. You just want to use the keyboard to wake it up. You can hit any key on the keyboard that'll wake it up. But you don't want it to wake up with the mouse because sometimes the mouse can move unexpectedly or it can be an overly sensitive mouse. So what we're going to do is go down to our search box here. We're going to type in device and we're going to select device manager. And we're going to go into the device manager and we're going to select mice and other pointing devices. And any mouse that you have, you can double click. And you're just going to want to make sure. Now, in this case, I don't have the option, but you're going to want to make sure under the power management tab that you select that you don't allow the device to wake the computer up. I will put up a screenshot of how this should look on your device. The next thing we're going to look at in Device Manager is our network adapters. So I'm just going to go in here, I'm going to double click my network adapter, and I'm going to go to the Power Management tab, and I'm going to uncheck Allow This Device to Wake Up the Computer. So basically what we're doing here in these two settings is we don't want the mouse to wake up the computer, and we don't want the network adapter to wake up the computer. These are two devices that can be problematic in theory, allowing the network adapter to wake the computer up should not be a problem. However, in practice, it frequently is. The same thing with the mouse. Some mice are overly sensitive, and the, as soon as the computer goes to sleep, it'll wake back up again because the mouse thinks that there's input. Now, in the next step, we're going to identify exactly what's keeping the computer awake. If 
the settings that I mentioned previously don't fix your problem. Now, in some cases, when you see the next step, you may be able to identify exactly what it is that's keeping the computer awake at that point, but it's going to give you a device ID in some instances, and it's not going to be clear which device that is. If that's the case, you're going to want to come in here to the device manager. You're going to want to select your different devices. You're going to want to go into the details tab, and you're going to want to select this drop down, and you're going to want to look at the hardware ID. The hardware ID is going to give you the value and you're going to match up that value with what you're seeing in the power CFG output. So let's get to the power CFG output so we can see exactly how to drill it down. Now for many of you that found this video you may have already tried those steps and that's fine. We have another method that's going to tell us exactly what's preventing us from going to sleep. So the first thing we're going to do is open a command prompt with administrator privileges. We're going to type in CMD in the search box. We're going to say run as administrator. We're going to say yes to the user account control prompt. And then we're going to type in a command. It's going to be power CFG space hyphen requests. We're going to hit enter. And this is going to tell us everything that's in use. Now we can see on our system here, there's nothing going on that would prevent the computer from going to sleep. In my specific case, I have an application that was utilizing my microphone and it was preventing my computer from going to sleep. So what I'll do is I'll throw up a screenshot showing this exact command on that machine so that you can see what it looks like. Now, if you have something in here, it's going to tell you exactly what device is responsible for preventing your computer from sleeping. It's not going to give it to you in a very easy way. But with the device ID, you can go into device manager and you can look for the matching device ID and figure out what it is that's preventing the computer from going to sleep. Now for an example of this, I can go in and I can open Windows Update. Because I know when I'm running Windows Update, it's going to prevent the computer from going to sleep. So I'm going to open it up here and I'm going to say check for updates. Then while I'm doing that, I'm going to go right back here and I'm going to run this again. Now as you can see, it's not a system device here, but it's an execution process. And this will tell us exactly what process is preventing the computer from going to sleep. Now, from my experience, it's usually either a process, something running on the system, or it's a system device that's being used that's preventing the computer from going to sleep. Folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other YouTubers find quality content, and we really appreciate it. Click on subscribe, and then click the bell to get notified whenever new content is added. As always, comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome below, and we thank you very much for watching.